Hello, I have been asked to speak about the Large Hadron Collider. Now I must say the energies and information that I normally receive from the Nine is easily interpreted by myself from their energy into language. However, regarding the question about the Hadron Collider, I am picking up many energies that I'm finding it difficult to interpret. The Nine tell me if I had a scientific mind I could understand what they were saying as they're speaking to me. For from my perspective, it's deep physics they are showing me, deep scientific concepts that they're showing me that I don't have knowledge of. They tell me that this is related to quantum physics, particle physics and string theory and I have very limited knowledge of these theories. Um, another reason why I'm finding it hard to bring into words what I'm seeing from the Nine here is the fact that all these timelines and possibilities and quantum realities are converging around this event of the Hadron Collider being switched on. And it really seems that what I'm seeing is a mini reconstruction of what is occurring naturally on the 21st of December 2012. A mini version, but in the wrong space or in the wrong time, perhaps. So basically, all these timelines are converging together around the switching on of the Hadron Collider. Every possible eventuality of everything that can ever happen in reality is drawn into this moment. And the nearest word I'm getting to explain this is wormhole. It also has to do with time travel. It's like 2012 in mini form being brought forward into 2008. But because this timeline hasn't occurred yet, as in this collider hasn't been switched on, from one perspective no one knows what is going to happen, even the Nine. But then from another perspective, they do know what is going to happen because this is a created convergence and not a natural one. Therefore it's an event that occurred in their reality and once it is set in motion it becomes the same thing as a natural event even though it's a created one. As well as this I see all these beings lining up ready to kind of jump in through this mini gateway that the collider will create. But these realities are on mixed levels as well. Each being jumping through has counterparts within every reality. They're all ready to jump through. And if they jump through, they may not even end up in 2008. It isn't just a gateway to 2008, it's a gateway to anywhere. Now the Nine tell me this depends on the trajectory. Again, I don't know what that means, but I'm told that there are those who are listening to this that will. So, depending on the trajectory, it will depend where they jump to. Now, the energies of the Nine are there with me, just like always, but the subject matter itself is tinged with these convergences all over the place. And what I'm seeing is not the same kind of picture that I normally see. I'm looking at lots of multi-dimensional images at the same time. In a way, it's kind of like I have one set of white-winged consciousness of nine. But in the reality that I'm viewing, the reality they're showing me regarding the Hadron Collider, I'm seeing millions and billions of consciousness of nines. So we've got lots and lots of times here all converging. Now, the nine do not see this from their reality as negative. In fact, I actually get a very excited feeling from them about this. They're excitedly pointing to something and to the convergence, to the collider, and to them. It's, it's absolutely great, they're telling me. It's wonderful. So this event is wonderful, but what they're telling me isn't right is the timing. You see, the living beings that can jump through this wormhole gate are particles. These particles are part of the decision to turn the Hadron Collider on. So it won't be done only when we in third density want it to be done, it shall be a 50-50 decision with the beings from the future or the particles from the future, they're one and the same. So on the one hand, all timing for the events is divine and never wrong, but on the other hand, the timing for the 10th of September, which is when I'm told this Hadron Collider is due to be switched on, the timing for that date isn't quite right. So the nine, 
from the future along with a huge group of other beings of light and a group of intelligent living particles shall contribute to the decision of the switching on of this wormhole creator and it won't happen until the time is right. So from our current timeline here in 2008 um, the Hadron Collider will be in some way blocked from working for the date set of the 10th of September. The reason the Nine and the other future light beings are waiting for the right timing is because of something to do with a small collision. A collision in time and in the microcosm of time. It's like a birth moment. It's very, very similar, I'm told, to a birth moment. And everything has to be right. Every time a child is born, incarnated into third density matter, everything must be in the right place. And this must be the same for the switching on of this collider. They assure me again it's nothing to be afraid of. It's a wonderful thing. Uh, the problem is that third density thinkers and multidimensional scientifically minded thinkers are operating this. But what none of them re realize is that um, intelligent life, intelligent consciousness shall be moved. They see this, these scientists see this as a recreation of nature and indeed it is. But the Nine tell me nothing can be created from nothing, for all things exist already. And creation is simply the act of recycling what was already there into a different form. Now all this happens all the time in nature anyway, they tell me. But nature is designed by a higher mind, and everything is laid out in perfect symmetry. What may seem like chaos to us, here in the third density, is in fact, on the higher levels, symmetry and order. Now the Hadron Collider is being created by third density occupants and this is the issue here for in one respect from one perspective this is the first time this has ever been done. Of course in the higher reality and from the higher perspective it has actually occurred infinite numbers of times each in a slightly different way. But All these times are brought together when the Hadron Collider is switched on. So something shall change and while the higher light is delighted, and that does seem to be the best word to use, delighted, at the understanding and ability that we have reached on earth, it is like for them a mother watching their three-year-old going off to university to study for a degree. So it looks as though something will stop this from happening until the timing is absolutely right. And as I said, I see some kind of block regarding the 10th of September, which is when it's due to be switched on. But it will happen when the time is right. It will happen and it will be turned on. It happens in all timelines and it is a symbol. It signifies man's ability to create as God creates. Life, new life as we know it, will be created. A wormhole will be opened and life shall jump in. And this can be very positive. It's a destined event. It will happen. It's in everyone's blueprint. And each one of us can have an individual say in what shall happen here. Consciousness is being created and we have consciousness. Therefore, we can communicate with the life that shall be created by the collider being switched on. And indeed with the beings who jump in through the wormhole. Now the Nine are asking that we send love in meditation from now as often as we can towards the Hadron Collider and the event it shall create. This way only beings on the same frequency, the frequency of love, shall be able to jump in through this wormhole, this time portal. What the Nine are saying to me is here it's kind of like an invitation to the higher light when love is sent to this portal and at the same time it's saying to the beings of lower density you can't come in for they can only come through this portal if we invite them to because of our free will and our right to exercise that free will and we can do this by sending love in meditation to this portal as often as possible only then beings that match that frequency can come through. Now they stress to me again, this event is nothing to be afraid of, but it is the timing of when it is switched on that must be right. Thank you.